That is fantastic raspberry jam. It's got that sourness from the raspberries. Not very sweet. That's delicious. It just shows you're in complete control of how much sugar you want to put in your jam. That is superb. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick today. This is a real quick, easy one. We're making raspberry jam. We're making it with frozen raspberries. I've got two kilo packet here of raspberries, slightly defrosted, and they're going in that pan. Fantastic. In that pan, with the juice of a large lemon, flame on. Nice and straightforward this, bring this up to the boil. As it's starting to come up to the boil, we're going to tip in our sugar. I've got a kilo of sugar here, I've got some more sugar here. Now, normal standard is about a kilo and a half maximum for two kilos of uh, berries. However, I'm going to try and get away with a kilo and make it a little bit more tart, a bit more sour, a bit more raspberry than lots of sugar. So we're going to give it a taste test when it starts to melt down. I've already sterilized the jars behind me. I've sterilized them for 10 minutes. They're sitting there, they're air drying. Now there's no way that we're going to fill six of those, I don't think. Probably, probably get away with about four. We'll see. So just bring this up to a slight boil. Now it's going to go mushy in there. That's what it's about. Now when you're making jams like this, you know, you can actually skim off once it starts to boil away after you've put the sugar in. I don't tend to skim off actually, I just tend to push to one side and it just sort of disappears back into the jam. Love that smell of, of raspberries. I was going to say fresh raspberries, but they're not fresh, they're frozen. I love that smell of raspberries. jam's coming up to the boil now we need to boil it between 15 and 20 minutes now this is the scum we were talking about you can take that off if you want I don't bother I just stir it in it doesn't make any difference it's all jam it's all fruit that that is up to you they say that if you skim that off you have a clearer jam so that's all it does really right 15-20 minutes, jam setting temperature, if you have a candy thermometer or a thermometer, is 105 degrees C or 220F, thereabouts. So we'll test it in about 15 minutes and it should be ready for setting. Now like I say, I've only got a kilo of sugar in here because I want this really tart with that kick in there that's how I like my jam and you can't get that anywhere you know you buy jam these days and they've got more than the one and a half kilo of sugar in there you know they must have about three kilos in two kilos of fruit it's that sweet so all I'm doing is I'm just giving it a little stir you don't have to you know, but I don't want it to burn on the bottom of the pan. That's all. So 15 minutes from now, and we're going to test the temperature.
to see if it's at the setting temperature. So there's not a lot we can do really, we just got to wait 15 minutes while this boils away and then we'll take, check the temperature. It's as simple as that. It's so easy to make your own jam. Just giving it that little stir. You don't have to actually. I just like to always make sure that nothing sticks on the bottom of the pan. Especially when you're cooking on these little rings, you know. They're very good. Very good as a little cooker. That's been about 15 minutes actually. What we need to be doing now is checking the temperature. See what the temperature is at. Now it doesn't feel very thick to be honest. Get the old Thermo Pro, Therm Pro, in there. We're only at 102 and a half. So we're going to give it a little bit longer. Okay, it's bubbling a little bit there. Let's give it another go with the old thermometer. I can see that this jam will probably be okay for setting up. It's not going to be rock hard, but it'd be nice. So let's get that in there. We're at 103.8. So that's near enough. Now what you can do when you stir your jam with your spoon and you have a break in between Obviously don't touch that because it's absolutely red hot. Just put it to one side just for a second. You can do the cold plate test where you put a bit of jam on a plate, on a cold plate out of the fridge, and then give it a little minute and push your finger through. And if your finger pushes through the jam, obviously it's at setting point. However, I ain't got no uh, plate in the fridge this you've just seen me stir the jam and I've just put this to rest here it's still a little bit hot so we won't do it yet but what we need to do is just let this cool don't forget it's a stainless steel spoon so it's hot let it cool and we'll push our finger through on the spoon we don't have to dirty a plate we don't have to do anything same spoon so Will that set? I think so. And see, so we can just push our finger through there, look. And you can see that that is setting up on the back of the spoon. That is going to be fine. So you can see it's setting up on the back of the spoon. That's good enough for me. Let's turn off the cooker. Let it cool down a little minute. Now the jam has to go in the jars warm, warm to hot, okay? And then we have to sterilize the jars. So I'll let this cool down a little minute and then we're going to start to put it in our jars. Okay, so just a little bit of useless maths, whether you want it or not. We've got two kilos raspberries, one kilo sugar for every hundred grams of finished jam. Our sugar content is 33.33 grams. So we've got 33, just over, call it 34 if you want, but it's not. 34 grams of sugar per 100 grams of jam. So there you go. Okay, so you can see what's happening here. Look, we're just filling the jars up and we're trying to leave a little space at the top of the jar. Don't take it all the way to the top and using a funnel is a real advantage because well I'm not very steady with my hands anymore and I tend to spill everywhere. So we need to be getting those lids on there 
and we're going to have to put them back in for sterilizing for sealing up and then we'll have oh heck that's hot perfectly sealed jazza jam Okay, there's our jazz of jam and they're going back in our water tub and we're going to seal them lay them on that's it we're going to bring that to the boil which will seal our jars we'll bring it to the boil and we'll we'll boil it for about two minutes or so two minutes three minutes it will seal our jars sterilize them our jars of raspberry jam will be ready so get some of that little, we get a little bit of butter on our toast. And then this is the jam. Obviously the jam is in here, ready to boil up, to sterilize. But this is the jam that we just shoved in this container. And it's still warm, but you can see it's setting up. Lovely. So let's have some of that jam on there. Now let's give this a taste test. Oh, come on. Oh, my mouth's watering already. That is awesome. Oh. That is fantastic raspberry jam. It's got that sourness from the raspberries. Not very sweet. That's delicious. It just shows you're in complete control of how much sugar you want to put in your jam. That is superb. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And obviously when this boils and sterilizes, we let it go cool. It'll set up in the jar. Perfect for anything. If you like what we're doing, don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video mm.